America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we are talking about Secretary of War Henry Knox. Henry Knox served as Secretary of War from 1785 to 1795, a longer time than any other in our nation's history. When Knox began his term, this critical post had been vacant for 16 months, in part because congressional leaders were nervous about a standing army. Out of a virtually non-existent war department, Knox crafted a strong base for our nation's defenses. In 1789, the new constitutional government finally had the authority to organize and fund a standing federal army. Knox moved quickly and created the Legion of the United States, the precursor to today's army. Our new nation also had no navy when Knox took over, since Congress had disbanded it shortly after the revolution ended. However, due to American merchant ships being attacked on the open seas, a reluctant Congress passed the Naval Act of 1794, which authorized a small navy. Thus, Henry Knox oversaw the birth of both the United States Army and Navy. Knox also established the first federal armories, which gave our nation the ability to finally meet its needs regarding military hardware and supplies. As Secretary of War, Knox was responsible for all Indian affairs, making both treaties and overseeing conflicts. During his tenure, the United States engaged in two major Indian Wars, the Chickamauga Wars with the Cherokee and the Northwest Indian War with the Miami and Shawnee. Despite setbacks, Knox and the Army persevered and finally secured the peace on both fronts in 1794. Next week, we will talk about the legacy of Henry Knox. Until next time, may your love of country lead you. Thank you.